now we are discussing about the disk formatting here the disk means it may be hard disk or in nowadays we are using the solid state device also to configure any data we have to take either hard disk or solid state device initially whenever we want to configure the hard disk or the ssd then we required to do the disk formatting so first time when we want to use a disk first time when we want to use a hard disk or ssd then we have to do the disk formatting what it will do it will erase the all the existing data disk formatting will erase the entire data so before installing os generally it is suggested it is mandatory to do the disk formatting there are three main steps in the disk formatting one is low level formatting second one is partitioning third one is high level formatting what is low level formatting as we know low level language high level language means low level language means op codes we will give it is very difficult for us but it is very easy for the computer high level means we will write in english it is very easy for us but for the computer it is difficult to understand that's why we have to convert that to equivalent binary similarly here low level formatting means marking the cylinders tracks in that tracks sectors on the empty hard disk marking of these it is called low level formatting so it is termed as real formatting why it is called as real formatting because before saving any data into the hard disk we are trying to create the tracks and sectors in the physical format that's why it is called as real formatting so low level formatting is called as real formatting each sector value when we created the sector value each sector value we are filling with some dummy value or with some test values generally manufacturer will perform this low level formatting whenever we order a hard disk we buy a hard disk the manufacturer will automatically do this low level formatting and after that only he ships to us after that only we will get the device in the market once we get the device in the market we have to do the partitioning part what is partitioning as the name tells us partitioning means creating the divisions so we are taking the hard disk we are dividing it c drive e drive d drive c d e drives so three partitions i am doing so each partition we are calling as one drive so the operating system recognizes each partition as a separate drive each partition is also called as logical volume example c drive one logical volume d drive one logical volume e drive one logical value this will be done by us or otherwise after the manufacturer sends after the low level formatting where, wherever we are buying the system that shopkeeper also does this partitioning next is high level formatting once we have created c d e drives generally we format all these three drives then only the data can be saved it so this will be done by the user only so each logical volume logical volume is whatever we mentioned after partitioning c d e each logical volume will be formatted after that only we can save the data into that logical volume now what we will do in the high level formatting writing a file system that we will discuss later and what is the cluster size and partition label etc all these things will be done in the high level formatting so here we discussed in order to configure any data storage device first time use then we have to perform the disk formatting after the disk formatting entire data will be erased before installing os it is mandatory to do perform the disk formatting there are three main steps in the disk formatting low level partitioning and high level formatting in the low level formatting we will mark the cylinders and tracks and uh, sectors after that those sectors will be filled with the dummy values or test values we mentioned this also called as a real formatting because it will be done in the uh, physical aspects physical formatting after manufacturers performs this low level formatting 
then we will do partitioning that will be done either by shopkeeper or by us in this partitioning we are trying to divide different regions each region is called as partition so each partition the os recognizes each partition as one separated drive this each separated drive c d e each separate drive is called as logical volume in the high level formatting we will format all these three logical volumes then only it is possible to save the data so process of the writing a file to system cluster size and the partition label etc it will be done in the high level formatting